this video is about how we create a new route on the chart world like this and this is a touch screen like this so I'll be using my mouse to show you how to create a new route uh, we go to planning mode there we go to load or new if we create a new route we go to new route a new route pops up the window is open we go to the desired position we need to start our route for example we are in Singapore we go to the desired position where we can we lay the far first waypoint there is this file station here we go click and there is the first waypoint laid on the chart then same way we lay the second waypoint and so on we keep increasing the waypoints putting the waypoints at the desired positions where we have to proceed secondly to name the waypoint we click on this position where you see where the number waypoint was written is back is missing I click it back you see I click it again and it is blank then you can put waypoint like I'll put pilot or whatever you like naming the waypoint secondly in this particular like this the guard zone the cat zones cat zones are uh, uh, pops up at automatically as we go to the setting and we allow the cat jog area to be visible so that it can be included on our passive plan so and also we have the total distance planned speed you can change by clicking on it say about 10 knots and add code then the time zone the UTC plus 8 at the current position then the cross track distance port and starboard turning radius and so on you can see and scroll the menu so this video shows how to create a new route if you want to delete the route say about change the name of the route also to change the name just click on the tab change name like I'll name it like route number 15 then save now after saving you can close the route and now if you have to delete the route for some reason then you go to the option delete search for the route which is to be deleted in this case we have new route number 15 so we scroll down new route 15 and here it appears click on it and delete so the route has been deleted this is the sailing mode to activate a route we go to nav settings 
we go to root now of course the root is running so it is showing load root tab is not activated because we have to first unload the root which is activate now and then after unloading we can load the root for example I will unload the root and load it again so the root is okay save select the desired user chart which you have made for the particular root for which I have made Singapore West to East Malacca Strait already selected close it close the tab here the root is selected on your screen other chart settings you can see in the chart setting options the chart display IMO categories base standard and all customs and below custom you see all the settings which is required you take it which not required you can just untick it like I have not I don't require the show grid I have done it and show accuracy this is always required when you are planning the passage so while making way or while you are on the passage no need to activate no need to tick this setting otherwise all have been checked the other most important setting is the filters enable scam and filters enable symbol filters this is always to be ticked on when you are planning your passages others are like the style points traditional area boundaries plain or symbolized and rest Or maybe you all know about that other settings you can see the settings here these are the windows which can be visible on the chart display during navigation mode like is sailing mode time position course over ground speed over ground heading speed through water depth, next waypoint, traffic, EBL, zoom, display, nav, pick and chart settings. So in this tab you have multiple settings here. You can activate and deactivate the touch screen option. You can change time zones here. You can change wheel over line, wheel over distance from here. Other settings, the AIS display settings, the settings displayed in the AIS, and for AS and ARPA settings. Go back to the integration mode. Here you see there are multiple options here chart browser, navigation mode, file manager, restore system settings, upgrade system software service menu replay mode communication and system shutdown so this is to shut down the system in a systematic and uh, systematic way not just pressing the button and shutting down the situation which might uh, damage the unit or the processor so this file manager is where you can transfer the root you have created to your pen drive like inserting the pen drive uh, in the USB socket and you can just select the pen drive and select the root you want to like transfer click on it transfer and the root is transferred to the pen drive the desired location 
this is root transfer then you have root text marks user objects reports reports is when you create a root you generate a report for the particular voyage uh, which is normally uh, very very useful during uh, sire inspections and cdi inspections which should be also kept record of also you have the logs the screenshots of uh, any particular areas or navigation we need to take real replays replays of the egdes which is uh, stored in the egdes for past 3 uh, months maximum boots and reports so we exit we go back to navigation mode sailing mode secondly you have also one setting in the nav tab it is the anti ground setting and you set the desired calculated data here maximum draft of the vessel dynamic you can see safety vertical clearance shallow contour safety contour safety depth deep contour and so on look ahead port side starboard side and tap you want to say when you go to the own ship option you see all the sensor settings which are green indicates uh the system is in good order predictor this own ship symbol outline speed vector size which is on and you can change the size by 1 minute 3 minutes 6 12 24 and 30 minutes own track which can be again changed to 1 hour 2 hours until 7 72 hours maximum then the own track did visibility that is 1 minute and you can keep it maximum up to 120 minutes the idea behind behind showing you all this is when you go for your egdes uh, type specific exam test uh, for acquiring the certificate those times these few things are asked which are very basic and sometimes we don't uh, uh, we ignore these points normally we do that so this is to just emphasize on these uh, basic points which uh, you need to remember while giving your test and clearing the exam in first attempt the the questions are very basic so whatever is taught in the training it is important but few many minor things are like uh, asked which is which a uh, navigator should know during uh, using his at this so this is all for today if you need any assistance and uh, likewise i'll be keeping updated on my new videos and thank you very much please write a comment if you want any details or any training of any equipment please follow my channel and thank you so much bon voyage